I've got a serious problem and I think that this little guy right here is gonna help me out with that. Welcome back, I'm a woke black teacher and on this channel we talk about teaching tech and social justice and today we are reviewing a piece of tech that I have been interested in for a while. This is the Atomos Shinobi 4K HDMI monitor. Now I shoot Sony, I've got an A7 III that is recording my face right now and I've got a 6500 that is recording the top down shot and one of the biggest problems that Sony has with their cameras is that their screens don't flip out so I can never see myself recording. Now I'm really fortunate to have my fiance Elizabeth help me out with recording but sometimes I just don't have her around and it takes a long time to try to figure out whether I'm in focus, you know what does the shot look like, is there any garbage in the background that I need to get out and this guy is going to help me do that and see so much more of my shot. Not to mention that it's got a lot of other really amazing features that I'll go over in a more detailed review but for right now we're just gonna unbox this and see what comes with it. So let's get into the box. As you can see, we are greeted by some really nice packaging. I love Atomos stuff. Um, and I am super excited to get into this guy and see what we got. And there you have it. We have the Atomos Shinobi. Now, this is really amazing because it is basically a Ninja 5 without the recorder. And what's even better about it is that it only costs about 400 bucks. You know, with me shooting Sony and having a lot of the equipment that I already do, I really didn't need the record function. And to save about $300 is an amazing deal for me. Let's see, on the back or on the side, we've got a single HDMI port, headphones for monitoring. On the other side, we've got uh, an SD card reader um, that is going to be used predominantly for loading things like LUTs onto here so that you can see what your lighting and what your different effects will look like when you are already recording. Uh, you've got a remote slot right here. And then on the back, you have an MPF battery plate with the power button. So very simple, very light. You know, it, it's crazy how light they have begun making these things. If I'm not mistaken, the Ninja 5 is made out of metal. I've never held one before, but even though this is made out of plastic, it still feels really good in the hand. It's got a nice kind of like matte finish to it. Um, and I'm really pleased with the build quality that I've got so far. So let's put this off to the side for right now and see what else you get in the box. So you've got some paperwork here and you've got your plugs for all the different countries. We won't be needing these. We just need this one. So we'll take that guy out. And then you've got the power adapter. It even looks like it's got a little MPF battery adapter here for it. And so we'll put that to the side and not much else in the box. That's pretty much it. I was really surprised to find out that this didn't come with any type of cable. It didn't come with any type of mount to actually get the thing on your camera. But you know, 400 bucks, you really can't be too upset about stuff like that. Um, you know, you really are just getting what you pay for and you know, you can pick up all those other things on your own. So to fix that problem, I also went ahead and picked up the Pro Video HDMI to Micro HDMI cable to actually use it with my A7 III. Uh, this guy was about 20 bucks, so that is something that you wanna factor into the price before you go pick one of these up. And then I've also got uh, one of my MPF 750s that was just lying around. We will pop this into the monitor and we will see what kind of boot screen we are greeted with when we load it up. So for those of you who've never done this process before, you just literally take this guy, slide it into the back, make sure the pins are lined up, and then, ooh, this is my favorite part, let's get ready for it. Oh, very satisfying taking that off for the first time. I am so excited about this device. This is literally gonna solve so many problems that I had before. Um, on the back, let's go ahead and power it up. You got, oh, you got the Atomos boot screen, and there you go. Now, it's saying no input right now because there is no input. I haven't plugged this into a camera. I'm gonna be doing a more detailed review of this device when I have an opportunity to use it a little bit more, and I will let you guys know whether you should go out and spend the money on it. I really personally think right now, based off of all the reviews that I've watched and all the research that I've done, this is going to be perfect for my needs. That might not necessarily be the same for you, but I will definitely let you know what I think of it and if it is going 
going to, you know, solve all the problems that I really think it's going to solve. That about wraps it up for this little short unboxing. Let me know, do you guys shoot Sony? Do you shoot something else? Basically anything besides Canon that doesn't have a flip out screen. And if you do, what monitors are you using to make sure that you can see yourself and that you're in focus? That about wraps it up for me. This has been a Woke Black Teacher and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.